Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lost Planeswalker. You're here with me, Jesse, the Lost Planeswalker, and today I have another Commander deck tech for you, and this one is all about Enchant Auras. So today the Commander I'm showing off is Light Paws, Emperor's Voice, and I call it Light Paws, the bane of everyone else. <laughs> uh, you'll soon see why. This deck gets a little salty even though the salt sum isn't that high, um, with an average cost, or the estimated cost of around 100 and. $77 without basic lands and assault sum of 26. It's actually kind of below the average by like 10. But um, this deck can get really mean. Um, it's definitely not one you want to play casually a lot. Uh, I've had a lot of people get really frustrated uh, when I've seen people play against this deck. I personally just haven't made it and probably won't just because it's a... If you really want to win and go all out, I mean, this is a way to do it, but it's... It's brutal. So uh, yeah, let's let's dive in and look at what this card does. So uh, light pause. Emperor's voice. One in a white lizard creature fox advisor. Whenever an aura enters the battlefield under your control, if you cast it, you may search your library for an aura card with mana value less than or equal to that aura, with a different name than each aura you control. Put that card onto the battlefield attached to light pause. Emperor's voice. Then shuffle. So this commander is basically a Voltron, but specifically an enchant aura Voltron. Uh, you're going to be putting a lot of enchantments on your commander, and this is the only creature in the deck because you don't want to get any other creatures. You just want enchantments and all the other fun stuff. Now, you can build this so that you get, you know, other creatures and you can get more card draw and whatnot, but I think the fastest way to win is to just have your commander out because any other mana you're spending on creatures or whatnot is not buffing up your commander and making it unblockable and uh, unbeatable. <clears throat> so with with that, let's um let's dive into some of those artifacts we got. I only included a couple in this deck, and uh, we start out here with commander plate. One mana artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus three plus three and has a protection from each color that's not in your commander's color identity equip a commander for three or equip regular for five this is a really great card because you're going to be equipping it for three mana and it gets protection from everything and you're going to see a sort of uh repetitiveness in the type of enchantments that are in this deck uh, one of the most powerful ways to make your commander unblockable is to take advantage of commander damage right so you're going to be dealing 21 commander damage to knock out your opponents, and cards like Commander's Plate and several other ones I have in this deck are going to make it so your opponent can't block your creature, and you're going to swing in and kill him with commander damage. So that's what I mean by it can get mean. So you want to be careful of that. You know, competitive play, perfect. It's a great card. More casual, uh, your friends are going to get salty at you, and it's not going to be as much fun if you're just doing the same thing over and over. So uh, let's move on. We got Pearl Medallion, two mana, artifact, White spells you cast, cost one less to cast. This is going to make all our spells cheaper and even better. Robe of Stars, one in a white. Artifact Equipment. Equipped Creature gets plus zero, plus three. Astral Projection, one in a white. Equipped Creature phases out. Equip for one. This is going to be a really powerful equipment in this deck. That one in a white for Astral Projection can be triggered after somebody targets your creature with a, a kill spell or whatever. You can do that. Uh, maybe they're going to counter your activated ability. Well, guess what? You can just do it again. And um, that's going to help keep your commander safe. If they're playing a kill spell or, you know, one of the only ways to really kill your commander in this deck is through sacrifice. This is going to keep your commander protected. So with that, let's start looking at the enchantments. Uh, the enchantments take up the main body of the deck. We got 36 in total, uh, which surprised me. It's not the most expensive because I think a lot of these are cheap and not really have that much use and you get some more expensive ones but they all are very powerful in this deck so starting off we have all that glitters one in a white enchant aura enchant creature enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control this is going to be a great way to get our commander really nice and big and swing in angelic destiny two white white enchant aura enchant creature enchanted creature gets plus four plus four has flying first strike and is an angel addition to its other types when it dies return angelic destiny to its owner's hand this is going to be a great way for us to get those other four drops out because whenever we cast it we can go find one and attach it to light paws and uh giving it flying and first strike is pretty powerful Angelic Gift, one in a white. Enchant Aura, Enchant Creature. When Angelic Gift enters the battlefield, draw a card. It has flying. Armored Ascension, three in a white. Enchant Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one plus one for each planes you control and has flying. 
This is a really cool one. It kind of uses that lands ability that you don't see in white a lot, so I really like it. Battle Mastery, two and a white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has Double Strike. Benevolent Blessing, one and a white. Enchant Aura. Flash. Enchant Creature. When Benevolent Blessing enters battlefield, choose a color. Enchanted Creature has protection from the chosen color. This effect doesn't remove auras and equipments you control that are already attached to it. This is a great spell if we want to protect ourselves against white. Cartouche of Solidarity, a single white. Enchantment, Aura, Cartouche. Enchant creature you control when this enters the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token with vigilance. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has first strike. This is going to be strong because while we're going to really beef up our commander and we don't really want that too many other creatures, if somebody has a way to stop our commander from swinging in, this is going to make another warrior that we can start equipping all of these equipment to to make it big and beefy to swing in to help us out. Celestial Mantle. Three white, white, white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three. When Enchanted Creature deals combat damage to a player, double its controller's life total. I don't know if there's a second really big spell like this to take advantage of life possibility, but I really like the fact that if we swing in and deal combat damage, we're going to double our life total. Chao Mano's Blessing. Enchant Creature. You may play Chao Mano's Blessing anytime you can play an instant. As Chao Mano's Blessing enters the battlefield, choose a color. Enchanted Creature has protection from the chosen color. This effect doesn't remove Chao Mano's Blessing. Conviction, one and a white. Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus three. Return Conviction to its owner's hand. This is a really neat effect, and you're going to see this a couple times, and the way this is really powerful is we want to call upon Light Possibility, which basically lets us pull things out of our library for free and attach it. So, what we want to do is return it to our hand so we can cast it over and over again and get all of those two mana things out of our Daybreak Coronet. White, white. Enchant Aura. Enchanted Creature. Enchant Creature with another aura attached to it. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three, has first strike, vigilance, and lifelink. This is going to be a great way for us to gain a lot of life and make our commander always up, ready to block. Ethereal Armor, single white. Enchantment Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control and has first strike. Just like all that glitters, it's going to help beef up our commander. Face of Divinity, two and a white. Enchant Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as an aura is attached to your Enchanted Creature, it has first strike and lifelink. Veldar Umbra, one and a white. Enchant Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has lifelink. One and a white. Attach Feldar Umbra to a target creature you control. Totem Armor. Totem Armor is a really cool ability because if our creature would be destroyed, remove all damage and destroy this aura instead. So basically, if someone tries to make a sack our creature, we gotta, we have protection to help us keep it on the battlefield. Flickering Ward. Single white. When you play Flickering Ward, choose a color. Enchanted Creature gains protection from the chosen color. Single white. Return Flickering Ward to its owner's hand. Holy Mantle. Two white white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from creatures. This way, no matter what the creature is or its color, they can't block. Hyena Umbra. Single white. Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one plus one and has first strike. Totem Armor. Indestructibility. Three and a white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Permanent. Enchanted Permanent has Indestructible. This is a great way to protect our commander. Light of Promise. Two and a white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has, whenever you gain life, put that many plus one plus one counters on this creature. Mammoth Umbra. Four and a white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus three plus three and has Vigilance. Totem Armor. Next, we have a really cool card. Mantle of the Ancients. Three white white. Enchant Aura. Enchant Creature you control. When Mantle of the Ancients enters the battlefield, return any number of target auras or equipment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one plus one for each aura and a, for each aura and equipment attached to it. Mask of Law and Grace, single white, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gains protection from black and protection from red. Military Discipline, single white, Enchant Aura. Flash, Enchant Creature. When Military Discipline enters the battlefield, Enchant Creature gains first strike until end of turn. Enchanted Creature gets plus one plus zero. Pariah, two and a white, Enchant Aura, Enchant Creature. All damage that would be dealt to you is dealt to Enchanted Creature instead. This is a really cool ability, especially if we pair it with an enchantment like Indestructibility. Because if we can just make our commander indestructible, and now all that damage just falls onto it, it's never gonna die. And we can't take any damage. This is a pretty cool card. Raphine's Guidance. Single white. Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one plus one. You may cast Raphine's Guidance from your graveyard by paying two and a white. 
rather than paying its mana cost. Sage's Reverie, three in white, enchant aura, enchant creature. When Sage's Reverie enters the battlefield, draw a card for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each aura you control that's attached to that creature. Shield of the Duty and Reason, single white, enchant creature. Enchanted creature has protection from green and from blue. Sigard is eight, single white, enchantment. You may cast enchantment aura spells as though they had flash. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach it to a target creature you control. Sky Blades Boon, one in a white, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has flying. Two in a white, return Sky Blades Boon to your hand. Activate only if Sky Blades Boon is on the battlefield or in your graveyard. Spectra Wand, three white white, enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two. It has protection from all colors. This effect doesn't remove auras. This is a really important card in our deck because if we can cast it, that means we have protection from all colors and all of our enchantment auras won't fall off. Spectral Steel. One in a white. Enchant aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two. One in a white. Exile Spectral Steel from your graveyard. Return another target aura or equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. If some way our commander dies with a really good enchantment on it, we can get it back just like that. Spirit Loop. One in a white. Enchant Aura. Enchanted creature you control. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage, you gain that much life. Whenever Spirit Loop is put into a graveyard from play, return Spirit Loop to its owner's hand. Spirit Mantle. One in a white. Enchant Aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has protection from creatures. Timely Ward. Two in a white. Enchant Aura. You may cast a spell as though it has flash if it targets a commander. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has indestructible. Triclopian Sight. Three in a white. Enchant Aura. Flash. Enchant creature. When Triclopian Sight comes into play, untap Enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has vigilance. Unquestionable authority. Two in a white. Enchant aura. Enchant creature. When unquestionable authority enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature has protection from creatures. And with that, we're all the way to instance. With most of our cards being enchantments, we do have a few instants, lands, and sorceries to include in this deck. So here they are. Dawn Charm. One in a white. Instant. Choose one. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Regenerate target creature. Counter target spell that targets you. Disenchant. One in a white. Instant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. If our opponents have something pesky, this is an easy way to remove it. Faith's Reward. Three in a white. Instant. Return to the battlefield all permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. That way if our commander is some way killed, we can play this and instantly return it with all of those things attached to it. Fateful Absence. One in a white. Instant. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Its controller investigates. This is a really great way to kill a creature and the only benefit they get is a clue token. Carmetra's Blessing. Single white. Instant. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. If it is an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible until end of the turn. Lapse of certainty. Two in a white. Instant. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, it's put on top of its owner's library instead of into that player's graveyard. Mana tithe. Single white. Instant. Counter target spell unless its controller pays one. This is a great way to counter somebody's big spell when they tap all out to cast it, and then you sneak in with this. Path to exile. Single white. Instant. Exile target creature. Its controller may search the library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Rebuff the Wicked. Single white. Instant. Counter target spell that targets a permanent you control. Sajiri Shelter. One in a white. Instant. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Silence. Single white. Instant. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. Swords of Plowshears. Single white. Instant. Exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. With that out of the way, let's take a look at some of those lands we included in the deck. Just a couple lands here because pretty basic, but uh, we got a few really good ones. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Legendary land. Tap it to add a colorless. One in a white. Tap. Put target enchantment card from a graveyard on top of your library. We have 34 planes and Rogue's Passage. You can tap it to add a colorless or for four colorless, tap target creature can't be blocked this turn. And lastly, we have another 12 sorceries in this deck. Starting off, we got Austerior's Command. Four white white. Sorcery. Choose two. Destroy all artifacts. Destroy all enchantments. Destroy all creatures with mana value three or less. Destroy all creatures with mana value four or greater. Brilliant Restoration. Three white 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 white. Sorcery. Return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. This is a great way to re-equip our commander. Cut a deal. Two and a white. Sorcery. Each opponent draws a card. Then you draw a card for each opponent who drew a card this way. Divine Reckoning. Two white white each player chooses a creature they control destroy the rest and it is a flashback for five 
white white next we got farewell four white white sorcery choose one or more similar to austerior command this exiles them instead though so our opponents can't get back any of that stuff that we remove open the armory one in a white sorcery search your library for an aura or equipment reveal it put it into your hand then shuffle your library if there's just one aura you're literally looking for well, this is a great way to get it. Promise of Loyalty. Four and a white. Sorcery. Each player puts a vow counter on a creature they control and sacrifices the rest. Each of those creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control for as long as it has a vow counter on it. Ravnica at War. Three and a white. Sorcery. Exile all multicolored permanents. This is so good because everything in our deck is a single color. So, our opponent's boards are just going to get wiped where ours is entirely unaffected. Retether. Three and a white. Sorcery. Return each aura card from your graveyard to play. Only creatures can be enchanted this way. Slash the ranks. Three white white. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers. Except for commanders. Three dreams. Four white. Sorcery. Search your library for up to three aura cards with different names. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. This is a great way if we don't have anything in our hand to really buff up our commander. Get the best three things out of our deck and equip them this turn or next. Winds of Wrath. Three white white. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures that aren't enchanted. They can't be regenerated. Well, that's it. As you can see, all mono white. Don't really have to worry about that. Our average mana curve, right around 2.75. A lot of one and two drops. This is going to be very good and very powerful. So, uh, yeah. With only two, uh, a clue and a warrior token needed for this, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you're interested in building this deck. I'm going to tell you firsthand. This is a rough one to play against. It's extremely powerful, and uh, I'd be careful to play it. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, you got a good play group, or maybe the people you play with are uh, competitive. Well, this is a great card for that. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. I put these videos out once a week. New commander every week. Uh, we're going to build a lot of decks this year, but uh, that's it. So thank you if you enjoyed it. Maybe there's a card I left out that you won't like to include in decks like this. Please leave them in the comments below. What do you think about me including no other creatures but the commander? Is that a good idea or bad? You know, if you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, that's it. So, as always, I'll see you later, planeswalkers.